Good morning. A funny thing happened this morning, and I always say everything happens for a reason. And as my mum likes to say, God has a reason for everything. Now, one thing I don't want to be doing is driving and talking, even if I'm not looking at the camera. I don't want, I say lead by example, so you've got to lead by example. So I am going to do that, and that's what I've been doing. And I discovered that you can actually do live audio with a picture. And I was thinking to myself, oh, damn, I'm going to need to, like, um, go to a shop quickly, go on an internet cafe, print off one of my quotes or something, you know. And I saw the live thing, and I was like, how am I going to do this one? How am I going to actually do this? And without, without even thinking twice or even hesitating, because hesitating is a bad habit and a lot of us do it. In fact, everyone does it. I do it all the time, but I've limited how much I do it because as soon as I feel like I'm going to hesitate, I just do it. Like I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm not even going to do a morning video this morning, but I want to keep making a habit of it, you know? Keep making a habit of it. And make a habit is not just a hashtag. It, no, it's seriously, I'm not even choking on it. Make a habit is not just a hashtag. It is a brand and you will soon see it is a brand. Hats will be coming out. Clothing will be coming out. You know, it will be coming out. Like, it, I will literally be doing it, you know. So, like, it's more than just a brand and it's more than just clothing. It's a movement. So, I'll be hosting live events and stuff. You know, I've got a lot planned, a lot. I ain't going to share and discuss so much of it right now, you know. But what I will say to you is, like, make every day a Friday. Make every day a Friday. I work part-time in my job that I'm doing at the moment, which isn't my main job. My main thing that I do is motivational speaking and, you know, and personal development. But what I will say to you, make every day a Friday. Don't just be looking forward to Friday and no other day. If you're doing that, then you clearly are not in what you should be doing. You ain't doing what you should be doing. You're not enjoying what you're doing. It's not making your life happy. And what I find is that a lot of people, I can actually speak on it myself personally. I've literally been in jobs where I've literally gone out of my way to do everything for them. And it's not just so I can get paid, but it's for the fact that I wanted to be excelled in my job. But at the same time, I was sitting in front of the computer while I'd be out and about in the rain, the snow, the sleet, any, everything. Thunder and lightning. I'll be going out my way for that job, for that person that's happily living at the top, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever they're doing, going on cruises, relaxing, with while well, like, my blood, sweat and tears is pouring, like literally, and I'm there, not eating, not having no breakfast, not having no lunch, arriving home late, and not even having dinner, and then going to sleep, and then waking up all again for that normal, basic grind, and what I've got to say for you, yeah, is that, no, it don't do good for you. Now I'm eating and I'm drinking, not alcohol because I drive and I don't really, I've never really been a drinker. But what I will say to you is that, you know, and Mo will know because I've worked with Mo before, you know how I am. Like literally, even me having lunch and I'll be like, no, I don't know about having lunch and everything. But now what I'm going to say to you, you need to start the day the right way. Have breakfast. If you're in a rush, because you don't know how to set an alarm and you're not really good with time because you've told yourself that over and over every time. What you need to be doing, set your alarm if you have to. You're obviously not enjoying waking up, but I wake up without an alarm clock. But I'm not saying everyone else does that. But what I will say to you is that wake up, prioritize your day, have a schedule, have your breakfast. Because you know you have a priority in the sense of having a schedule with your work and you know you have to make deadlines so why don't you make your own deadlines and start doing what you enjoy doing make sure you have your breakfast drink plenty of water you know, plenty of water now i'm not even publicizing i'm not even looking to do an advert for these people but this is what see all this h2o water makes your skin look nice keeps you clean flushes out all the bad stuff don't have it ice cold, just have it at room temperature. Lemon in your water, I've got that from the missus. I was thinking, you know, that's great. I don't know, drink peppermint tea. But what I will say to you, breakfast is ideal. Lead by example. If you're not having breakfast, how do you expect your children to have breakfast? If you're not having breakfast, how do you expect your colleagues to have breakfast? How do you expect your staff to have breakfast? How do you, if you're not having a break, how do you expect your staff to do the same? You've got to lead by example. Now, what I'm going to say is that you need to have a lunch break. You need to eat lunch. You need to have your dinner. Don't kill yourself because a lot of people are having strokes, heart attacks and at young ages, boy, you know. So end of the day, you know what time it is. Continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out your bad habits one by one. Stay positive, productive and patient and believe, vision, achieving God. Make a habit one.